Hello and thank you for watching another Henco Water Jet video. Today we would like to take a moment to answer a common question. What size orifice should I be using? For this conversation we are going to focus on 60,000 PSI water jet technology. At the end of this video we'll touch on 90k technology. To answer what orifice should I be using we must first begin with the capability of the high pressure pump. It is important to understand two main specifications of your pump. One what is the maximum operating pressure, typically expressed in PSI or pounds per square inch? And second, what is the maximum output of water at max pressure, normally expressed in GPMs or gallons per minute? Let's review a few of the most common size pumps and typical outputs. All right, let's start with the standard 60K um, graph where you can see pump horsepower, max operating pressure, and max flow. We're going to start with the 50 horsepower. You can see here it's 60,000 PSI. And what we're really looking for is that max output flow of one gallon per minute. All right, next, let's uh, jump over and take a look at a direct drive uh, chart. You can notice here that we still have horsepower, PSI, and GPM. But notice how we dropped to 50,000 PSI and we have different horsepowers, 20, 30, and 40 for the 50,000 PSI, and then 30, 40, 50 at 60,000 PSI in the corresponding GPMs. We're going to look at the 50 horsepower since we did that for the intense fire pumps. Notice we got 60,000 PSI, but we got 1.2 GPM, so about 20% more flow rate uh, with a direct drive than an intense fire pump. Regardless of what pump you have, the one key takeaway we want you to understand is what is the max output flow rate that your pump produces at the max pressure. All right, and one of the reasons this is important is next we're going to go ahead and review an orifice chart. All right, on this chart, the horizontal axis, we can see different pressure ratings, and on the vertical axis is the orifice size. For every orifice size at a given pressure requires a given amount of water. So let's review the 50 horsepower uh, pumps, which produces about one gallon per minute. So on this chart, we're going to look at 60K, and we're going to go all the way down to that one gallon a minute, and if we move across, we're going to see that basically we're able to support a 14 thousandths orifice. And that's if we wanted to run a single orifice, but what if we want to run two orifices? Well, then we're going to have to look for that half a gallon a minute, and we can go over and see that we're going to be able to run two tens. Well, what if we want to run the maximum amount of orifices we can? We'll go to that quarter. And you can see here we could actually run four sevens. All right, so back to our original question. What orifice size should I be running? Well, one of the most important things to understand is what is the maximum size orifice that you can run in a single cutting head? And we now understood how to calculate that, or you can look at your manufacturer's specs. So for the average person, if you're trying to cut the fastest you possibly can, uh, one of the best things you can do is maximize the orifice. Orifice being uh, the media that carries the abrasive and abrasive water jet cutting, you're definitely going to want to maximize that out. For those folks that are looking to maximize their pump life, lower uh, operating cost, they might want to uh, give us a shout. And one of the things we can talk about is where is that intersection of speed and lowest cost per inch of cut. And oftentimes it is not, and I repeat not, the uh, largest orifice size that your pump can produce because obviously your pump's going to be stroking harder. Hey folks, thanks for joining us today in uh, this video in what orifice size should I use. Uh, keeping in mind that this is just one of a four-part series that we're discussing. Uh, keeping in mind that the uh, four major factors that can affect abrasive water jet cutting are pump pressure, uh, orifice size, nozzle size, and how much abrasive. So um, be sure to stay tuned and see some of those videos at Henco's Waterjet uh, YouTube site. Also, uh, please note that we did not touch on 90K water only or precision cutting. For those applications, please give us a call at 1-833-4HENCO.